see here. So when x goes to zero, okay, we can use L'Hopital's rule. So that's limit x goes to zero of log three times three x minus log two times two power x all over one. So that would be uh, three zero, two zero, log three minus log two, that's log three over two. X goes to zero, so these are both going to infinity, so we can use L'Hopital's rule again. So on the top, that'll be minus one over X squared, and on the bottom, it'll be one over X squared, so that's minus one. 390. That's a limit. This x goes to pi over 4. 1 over tan x minus 1. Um, or maybe I should write it as 1 minus tan x over tan x. Um, Cannot use L'Hopital's rule, but this will be one over tan x minus one. Do any special rule here? Tan pi over four. Is root two so this would be root two minus one, I just think. Right. Um, um tan pi over four. No, tan pi over four is one. Sorry, tan pi over four is one, so that'll be zero. Why why is this this is strange? Zero. Yeah. Yeah, it's zero. Strange. Okay, this one here. <laughs> um. Oh, I could change it into x goes to infinity of x over e power minus 1 over x. When x goes to infinity, that goes to infinity, but that will go to... Mm. That will go e to minus 0. So I think this diverges. This goes to... Yeah, I think I think I think this one's pretty clear because e power one over infinity. That's e power zero. This this is this is going towards one and this is increasing. So it it has to be infinity. Three ninety two. Um that should be the same thing as x power 1. So I think that one should be 0. And then 393, we take log e x power 1 over x. No, other way around. Limit as x goes to zero plus of e log x one over x. So as x goes to zero, this will go to minus infinity, and this will go to zero. So what to do? Limit 
x goes to zero plus e log x over x that's going to zero that's going to minus infinity can't use l'hopital <laughs> What to do? To do? Um, L equals x power one over x. Log L equals one over x. Log x. So this, when it goes to zero plus, this will go to positive infinity and this will go to minus infinity so it'll go to minus infinity so that means log the limit is minus infinity which means l is zero or a positive zero so to speak um, um, zero yeah zero so zero okay so we have log three over two minus one zero infinity zero minus infinity zero uh, 394 so the log of the limit would be x log 1 minus 1 over x um, as x goes to 0 from the left mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. so that would be a 0 and 1 over uh, 1 over a negative zero so this would be this would be going to infinity so that would be limit as x goes to zero from the left log one minus one over x over one over x so I can use L'Hopital's now so the derivative so that would be one over one minus one over x times 1 over x squared over 1 over x as x goes to the 0 there so I should multiply the t everything by x squared so if I multiply by x squared that's gone and that becomes x um, this would become x minus 1 over x. And then if I multiply by x again. So now I have limit as x goes to 0. Um, one over x minus one over x squared. Um, as x goes to zero negative, that's minus one. So minus, so minus an infinity. So that means the L is zero again mm, let's check one minus one over power no it's just going to one it's going to one okay 
let's just check these answers and then we'll look at the last two here. Okay. 388 we don't have. 389 is minus 1. 391 is infinity. And then 393 is 0. Okay. So we are correct. Let's just clean this up. All right, let's think about this now. Um, if we call this, if we call this L, then log L will equal X times log one minus X power minus one which will be, and this is all as x tends to zero. Okay, so that will be log one minus x power minus one over one over x. Okay. So when this goes to zero, from the left, that'll be minus infinity infinity so I put a a minus here and a minus here so this will go to positive infinity and this will go to positive infinity as well so I can use L'Hopital's rule so that would be minus and then on the top is 1 over 1 minus x power minus 1 and then minus x power minus 2 all over the derivative here is minus, so that's x power minus 1, so that's positive, x minus 2. Oh, I made a mistake a moment ago then, I must have forgotten to differentiate this. So cancel those minuses and cancel those, and then you're left with 1 over 1 minus x power minus 1, and then... That's 1 over 1 minus 1 over x. So that's x over x minus 1. Uh, that looks like 0 again. Okay, so log L is 0. So that means L is 1. So the limit is 1. Okay, that's correct now. Um, let's try again. So L equals the limit as 1 minus 1 over X power X um, as X tends to infinity. So log L would be X log 1 minus X power minus 1. X going to infinity. So that's going, okay, that's going to a 0. So that's log 1 minus X x power minus 1 over x power minus 1 that's going to 0 and that's going to 0 so I can use L'Hopital's rule um, so minus x power minus 2 1 over 1 minus x power minus 1 and then the derivative here is x power minus 2 so these cancel so that's 1 over x minus 1 minus 1, which is x over 1 minus x. No, actually, I should have kept it as it was 1 over 1 minus 1 over x, because when x goes to infinity, that will be 1. So that means log L equals 1. So that means the L equals E. And this is 3, 9, 5, oh, 1 over E. Oh, I lost a minus somewhere. I lost a minus somewhere. Right, the, no. Uh, X, 
Yeah, here. It's x over one. Okay, hang on, let's fix that. So it should have been one over one minus one over x with a minus on the top. So when x goes to infinity, that's minus one. So that means, yeah, it's e power minus one. So one over e. Mm, yeah. Okay. 395, one over e. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So that's up to 395 done today. And then I think that leaves us for next time with just the tech questions. We should get finished next time. And then we're on to Newton's methods.